Triss could not help Garrett, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNerd and welcome back to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on the Death March difficulty. Last time we had ourselves a little dream of the past. Uh, in which we saw that Dandelion and Siri were together, uh, as mentioned by the recap that you probably just saw. Maybe I wanna I wanna talk about those recaps first. So uh, this recap that you just saw uh, indicates that the recaps are written and told by Dandelion, but I, I've always found it a bit odd that they're narrated by the voice of Vesemir and not Dandelion himself. Uh, also, all the journal entries are, are also written as if Dandelion had written them. But, Corrine Tilly, the Aneromancer, told us that we could find Dandelion in the Rosemary and Thyme uh, brothel that he uh, inherited from someone. So let's head straight there and see if we can not find him over there. So right here we come to the I Rosemary and Thyme. So then we heard the voice of Zoltan Shive, one of our other old friends. There he goes. And there's Zoltan. Nice. That was a nice quote. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. There's scoundrels. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? Of course. With pleasure. Always happy to do a bit of a scrap. Keep it together, legs. Gotta get around him. No. Yeah. Okay, Zoltan, get out of the way. There goes one. Reminds me of a piece of war. There goes the other one. And there goes the fourth one. I wanted to hit that guy in the face again, but that went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Well, uh It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Of course. Couldn't be easy, couldn't it? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he can explain what the hell's going on. Well, just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to your hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay. So Dandelions is missing and the inn has clearly been transformed into a... Well, a bit of a sleeping place for the local beggars. Ah, a note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. 
my visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. <laughs> stash. Oh yeah, that's my stash. Okay, never mind. Let's go back. And I jumped again. That's a nice painting. Killing a dragon. I don't think Dandelion has ever hold a so held a sword like that. But hey. There seems to be a note here. Letter from a female admirer. Well, let's uh, indulge now, shall we? The trust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot. The whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar to music, singing you. For that one brief moment I felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed, and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning chord. So that's the same letter that uh, Sultan was reading, although only excerpts from it. And there seems to be a diary of some sort. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! Okay. Why would that be? Looks it's like the inventory. <laughs> That's rich dandelion and planning. Seems dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew, gives it everything. Not seen him this obsessed ever. Okay. Seems it all the wor more worrisome that he left. He came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Sounds about right. <laughs> that could help, of course, if one of the women is responsible for his uh, disappearance. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. Rip. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Yep. Fine to wait. me. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need okay. anything, I'll be next door. Okay. So, um... We've got a list of women we need to uh, check up on. And check around this place first. That seems to be his loot. If I could... Yeah. Huh. This is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. That's a bit from, uh... From in the books. Or he got that as a gift for helping the elves. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Okay. There's another chest here. Oh, what's that? The faculty of Oxenfurt University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Lettenove, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. What was his the name? The faculty of Oxenford University is on Julian Alfred Pankratz. Pankratz. Viscount de Lettenove. The title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. I didn't even know that. Funny. So we haven't seen this case. More booze. Uh, this is back outside, I think, so I'm gonna check out... Oh, there's another letter here. A letter from Fran. Okay, so a letter from Fran. When will you return to Sidaris? I hope it will be soon, for I miss you terribly. Waiting to see you again literally pains me. 
If you are to come, send me a mes message beforehand. I'll ask my mistress for a day off. So that's another one of uh, Dandelion's many um, conquests, maybe a good word. So let's read the, the planner as well. Rosa Varatre, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humorous blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Gilborf. So that's one of the ladies. Then Molly, though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in, lust, gripped in lust's embrace. Okay, Gildorf villa next to the morgue. Okay. Then we have Vespula. Though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? God damn it. Far corners and laundry near the mouth of the Pontar. And then Marabella. Jeez, there are a lot of women on this list. Though her cries are divine when behind closed doors, standing on stage her squawks are drowned by snores. The bits near Pauper's Square. And then Elihal. A figure most rare, her natural nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Tailor shop across from the tannery. So we have five women we need to uh, pay a visit to. So let's get on with it. But first, quick looting. So see you in a second. So I looted the upstairs as well. And now the game points us into the direction of Zoltan again. So let's have a chat with him. He might be able to tell us a bit more about the women. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, or I might have looted here. everything. Wanted to ask you about someone. So let's go down the list. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace. She shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. <laughs> yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Uh, like from between a woman's legs? Okay, Marabella. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> poor bastard fled out the window. Yeah, indeed. Poor bastard. So Marabella is a strange one, apparently. Vespula. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. Oh, oh yeah, right, her. that one. It's from the books him. as well. Guess soul flames never die. Rosa Varatre, that seems to be the daughter of the ambassador that we spoke before. The one that told us about the, the situation in the war. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Varatre deemed her guihir. Well chosen, eh? Okay. All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. There we yes. go. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. I thought it was talking about a different designs. kind of swordplay. What has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim? I mean, instructor. That might be us. And then, last but not least, Elihal. 
A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard would be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. And I think Francesca's Finderbeard is, is he, uh, one of the sorceresses. Whereas I prefer vodka, straight up. Even one of the main ones, I think. The most important one. Okay. Not all I wanted to know. Thank you, Sultan. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. So, let's go hunting for these women. We'll take them in order. That sounded dirty. But we'll talk to Vespula first. And Vespula seems to be living outside of the city. There we go. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You that doesn't look pay. good. Oh, <laughs> hey. We what don't hit women. For, stupid wench. What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Yep. Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. I'll pay what she owes. Vespula's got new protection or get out of here. Let's go for the protection. I don't want to lose 200 crowns for these sons of bitches. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Are you dumb or what? Oh. That's interesting. The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. That was an easy way to deal with that. Thank you. Because oh, that was, of course, you. a lie. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness. And you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witch I took Dandelion out whoring. Excuse Gerald, me? Right? What? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh, dreadful sorry. <laughs> Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Ooh, Zoltan wouldn't be happy about that example. one. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. So, actually Dandelion is why we're here. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. Oh, okay. What did you do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Okay. Why would he be asking about the washerwomen in the bathhouse? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Okay. It is a strange thing to ask, so... Who was he with? This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. <laughs> Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. He's too come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Okay. So thanks for the information. And see you next thanks time. Thanks for your help. Listen. 
When I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. What? Okay. So that was Vespula. Next, we go to Ellie Hall. <coughs> oh, hi. Which is an elven woman, if I'm not mistaken. And she's also on the outskirts of the city. I'm gonna save first. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You um, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Do I want to see what's going to happen right now? Oh god. Any better? No! Absolutely so not! Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one <laughs> night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Okay. Don't really know if I do want to know the rest, but... Here goes nothing. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay, then. So, maybe the most important question first. I know this is none of my business. It but isn't, why but... do you? Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian Countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can get behind that. To become someone else, even for a moment, must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. <laughs> I don't think the women uh, share that uh, sentiment sometimes, but okay. What did you talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hyrule Oh, that's Square. too bad. But as he perished, ooh! The goings on impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> okay then. So Kalkstein is uh, an alchemist we met in The Witcher 1, I believe. And apparently was burned at the stake here in Overgrad, so. When did you last see Dandelion? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Okay, about what? Okay, about Kalkstein and probably but why would he need an alchemist okay thanks for your help thanks for your help and uh, nice to meet you 
I can help with much more. Okay, that if sounds... If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find Bad. them. Bad. And I'm not judging. I mean, if, if anyone want to do something really badly, just do it. I don't care. And I'm really not judging, so don't hold that against me. Okay, next one. And I do believe Molly is a woman, so uh, see you in a second. We'll head back into the city. And on the way, we come to this priest. And he's uh, pissing me off. Got the so let's have a shot. That slander to my face. Readily, you are a mutant, a freak, a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. Okay then. <laughs> okay, let's use words with this one and not violence. How many people's lives have you saved from Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked Why not? Question. How many? None. There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth, but all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. And now we've got the support of the people a bit. It'll pay off, they said. Bye, dickhead. So, that in between, a little bit of experience. On the side. Okay. Shady individual. I really find it funny that the whole town is full of shady individuals. Okay, I needed to take the upper route apparently. But. Molly. I think that was the maid? If I'm not mistaken. And uh, judging by the house and the guards out front, I believe we're right. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. Okay, then. Greetings, Witcher. Must admit it's curious to see you here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia. Slayer of monsters. And my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Where she works here. I fear your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. So this is the uh, fact of one of the choices from The Witcher 2. Either you did kill her son or you didn't. And I think if you didn't kill her son, you do go to the races with this lovely couple. So, uh, where can I find Molly? Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luisa's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. Oh, interesting. So, uh... Might be an indiscreet question, but let's do it anyway. Gotta wonder if Molly fell for the nephew or his inheritance. We cannot know that just yet. But either way, she has strong feelings for both. 
So uh, this might seem normal, but the guy being an a guardian inside of Novigrad is a bit strange, since Novigrad is still under Redanian control, under the control of King Radovid. But where can we find Molly? All right. So where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Oh, okay. So we're still going towards the races. Happy to go. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. And there we go, towards the horse races. I do think it's a bit dark for horse races, but uh, I'm guessing the game will solve that for us. 